The M1, M1A1, and M1A2 are the three main operational Abrams variants, with each new iteration seeing improvements in armament, protection, and electronics. Let us see how the Abrams have evolved right from the M1 which entered service in 1980 up to the Abrams X which will enter service in the foreseeable future. The M1 This is the first production variant. The M1 Abrams was developed from the failure of the MBT-70 project to replace the obsolescent M60 tank. The US Army received 3,273 of them. The M68A1 105mm rifled gun was installed on this tank. All variants NATO 105mm tank ammunition is compatible with the M1. A total of 55 rounds are carried for the main gun. The M1 Abrams is powered by an FCO Lake Homing, now Honeywell AGT-1500 gas turbine engine. The M1 IP improved performance. It featured upgrades and reconfigurations like a new turret with thicker frontal armor. The new turret is known as a long turret rather than the older short turret, and armor that was upgraded from approximately 650mm line of sight thickness to 880mm. 894 numbers were built for the US Army. The M1A1 The M1A1 is an improved version of the M1 main battle tank MBT. It has an upgraded armor package, an NBC overpressure protection system, and a 120mm smoothbore main gun. Along with its enhanced armor, 120mm smoothbore gun, and NBC overpressure system, the M1A1 tank also has a deep water fording kit, position location reporting systems, enhanced ship tie-downs, digital electronic control unit which allows significant fuel savings, and battlefield override. Production of this started in 1985 and continued to 1992. The M1A1 HA Heavy Armor The M1A1 HA Abrams is an up-armored version of the M1A1 Abrams with the same gun and maintains the family's exceptional mobility thanks to its gas turbine engine. This tank now has first-generation depleted uranium armor components. M1A1 HC Heavy Common the M1A1HC is a modification to the preceding M1A1 Abrams. The abbreviation M1A1HC or Heavy Common denotes the commonality of the M1A1's features. The new second-generation depleted uranium armor components, digital engine control, and few other upgrades are included in this tank. The M1A1D Digital this is a digital upgrade for the M1A1HC to keep up with the M1A2 SAP manufactured in quantity for only two battalions. This improves situational awareness and the ability to designate distant targets. Another improvement is replacing the analog turret network box and whole network box with new digital units to eliminate the associated obsolescence problems. M1A1 AIM version 1 Abrams Integrated Management Beginning in the late 1990s, the AIM program was designed to increase the lifespan of the M1A1 Abrams by adding second-generation forward-looking infrared and far-target locate sensors, a tank infantry phone, communications equipment such as FBC-B2 and Blue Force tracking to improve crew situational awareness, and a first-generation thermal sight for the 50 caliber machine gun. M1A1 AIM version 2 or M1A1 SA situational awareness. The most recent M1A1 Abrams model used by the US Army is the M1A1 SA, also referred to as the M1A1 AIM version 2 released in the late 2000s. Its goal was to upgrade older M1A1 models to zero hour fighting standards. This includes updated second generation FLIR. Blue Force Tracking Sensor, FBCB2, new NBC Protection System, as well as the ability to equip the Tusk 1 armor package among other new features. M1A1 FEP Firepower Enhancement Package The M1A1 Abrams Firepower Enhancement Program FEP improves the Marine Corps capacity for day and nighttime combat and makes a significant contribution to the mission of achieving a decisive victory on the battlefield with minimum casualties. 
The M1A1FEP provides target acquisition ranges during on-the-move operation, vehicle engine idle, and silent watch operations as viewed through the gunner's primary monocular sight. M1A2 The M1A1 Abrams main battle tank has been upgraded into the M1A2 version. The M1A2 provides the tank commander with a separate thermal sight, the ability to fire at two targets simultaneously without having to acquire them one at a time, as well as second-generation depleted uranium armor components. This MBT went into production in 1986 and it saw service in 1992. A better version of the M1A2 is the M1A2 SEP system enhancement package. It has a lot of advancements in lethality, reliability and command and control. It has upgraded third-generation depleted uranium armor components with graphite coating and a new second-generation gunner's thermal sight. M1A2 SEP V2 This is a further improvement of the M1A2 SEP. Upgrades in this tank include common remotely operated weapon station as standard, color displays, improved interfaces, a new operating system, improved front and side armor with ERA tusk kit, tank infantry phone as standard, and an upgraded transmission for better durability. The M1A2 SEP V3 or formerly M1A2C This tank has improved power generation and distribution, better networking and communications, a new vehicle health management system, line replaceable modules for improved maintenance, an ammunition data link to use airburst rounds, an improved counter IED armor package, an improved FLIR using long and mid-wave infrared, a low-profile Cross RWS, next-generation armor package, and an auxiliary power unit. The M1A2T This variant of the M1A2C with a special configuration is reportedly being sold to Taiwan as of March 2019 and has U.S. State Department approval as of July 2019. According to the DSCA statement, it is roughly equivalent to M1A2C with FMS export armor in place of depleted uranium armor. M1A2 SEP V4, formerly M1A2D. It is under development as of 29th March 2022. The third generation FLIR and improved laser range finder and color cameras will be added to the commander's primary sight, also known as the commander's independent thermal viewer and the gunner's primary sight advanced meteorological sensors, laser warning, detection receivers, directional smoke grenade launchers, and integration of the new XM1147 advanced multi-purpose 120mm tank round are all additional improvements that will be made. Abrams X The Abrams X is equipped with an autoloader, an unmanned turret, a hybrid diesel-electric power pack that provides 50% more fuel efficiency, a 30mm chain gun in a remote weapon station, active protection systems, augmented reality that would increase the crew's awareness thanks to its cameras and sensors mounted around the tank's exterior, a silent mode when running on electricity, the ability to be updated more easily than existing tanks, and the capability to use loitering munitions such as mines. A video of the technology demonstrator and various technological tests was made public by GDLS in October 2022. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.